All right, class, a uh, student asked me a question on number 19, page 297, so I thought the best way to answer this would be to put it on Moodle here and uh, put it on YouTube. Okay, so I have a, uh, in this case, number 19, page 297, I got a T value of negative pi over 6. What do I do with a T value of negative pi over 6? Okay, I have to use that uh, T value and figure out what the sign is what the cosine is, and what the tangent is. Okay, so I took a picture of uh, our unit circle here from the front of our book. Okay, all right, here it is. Okay, here is, uh, remember t value is just the distance from here. Here's positive pi over 6. It would be the square root of 3 over 2, 1 half. Okay, that would be with a positive uh, pi over 6, right? All right. Uh, remember, t is just a distance. Uh, in this case, our t value is negative. We're starting here, but we're going to go in the negative direction, pi over 6. So if this distance going up is pi over 6, this same distance going down should be negative pi over 6. So we call this 11 pi over 6, but it's actually also negative pi over 6. And we can prove that it's negative pi over 6 by adding or subtracting 2 pi from 11 pi over 6. And let me do that here real quick, we just, just to prove to ourselves. So if I have 11 pi over 6, and I want to know what other angles are coterminal there, I'm going to subtract 2 pi uh, over 6, 12, 11 minus 12, negative pi over 6. So these two angles are in the same spot on the unit circle. Okay, So there's a couple different ways to look at this. I'm going in the positive direction, pi over 6, to get to here. I'm going in the negative direction, pi over 6. This is my point. Okay, So the function value of t equal to pi over 6 is going to equal positive square root of 3 over 2, 1 half, a t function value uh, negative pi over 6 is going to be still positive square root of 3 over 2, however the y value is going to turn negative. Okay, So this is the point we're going to use to find our sine, cosine, and tangent. We're going to use the point square root of 3 over 2, negative 1 half. Okay, now if you remember sine is the y over the r, uh, and the r value up here is 1, this distance from here to here is 1, so r equals 1, that's going to cancel out, oops, okay, so trying to get used to this guy here, two fingers, there we go, okay, so what's our y value? negative one-half. What's our r value? One. Anything divided by one is itself. So sine of negative pi over six is negative one-half. Cosine of negative pi over six, x over r, square root of three over two. Tangent, this is, we're going to do some calculation here. Tangent is the y over the x. So negative one-half over square root of three over two. Okay, um, whenever you divide fractions, it's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. Let me erase a little bit of this here. Okay, when you divide fractions, it's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal, so this is going to equal negative one-half times two over the square root of three. Twos cancel. Okay, and maybe you remember from class that if I have a fraction divided by a fraction and the denominators are the same, they can cancel out. We end up in the same spot here. So this is going to equal negative 1 over the square root of 3. Common denominator, uh, or excuse me, rationalize the denominator. So I'm going to multiply by the square root of 3 over the square root of 3. Negative 1 times the square root of 3 is negative square root of 3. Square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 9. 
So tangent will equal negative square root of 3 over 3. I hope this helps. Again, this is number 19, page 297.